Hi kids, it's Grandma Carol again. I'm reading you some kind of couple books for you today. One is a Clifford book and one is a Curious George book. So I think you'll really like them. Okay, so here we go. Here's the first one. Clifford's First Fall. Okay, Clifford's First Fall. Hi, my name is Emily Elizabeth. And my dog is named Clifford. When he was a puppy, Clifford loved the spring and the summer. He went to play almost every day in the park. He loved to chase the birds, but he never trapped them. On the road home, he always stopped to smell the flowers. At the end of the summer, it was the end of the summer, and one morning, Clifford woke up with the whistle of the radiator. She lifted him up so he was able to see out the window. It surprised him to see smoke coming from his nose. It was his breath in the cold air of the morning. Fall had arrived. They got their coats on and took a walk. The park seemed different. The ground was covered with leaves. Clifford was not able to chase the birds. They had flown south. In place of flowers, there were now pumpkins. Clifford had never seen a pumpkin. Oh no, Clifford escaped. Crash, the pumpkin started rolling away. But where is Clifford? Sometimes Clifford is very tricky and sneaky. They said goodbye. We said goodbye to the owner of the fruit stand and entered the park. A gust of wind made more leaves fall from the trees. At first, Clifford was afraid. But he began to run across the leaves. It was very fun. He saw a mount we saw a mountain of leaves. Clifford jumped into them and buried himself in them. Wow, that was very fun. Suddenly a strange thing bounced in front of him. It had a long cord attached to it. Clifford trapped it and began to run. In that moment, a boy grabbed it. It seemed that no one saw Clifford. Other boys began to run behind the boy. Careful, a little puppy is, has grabbed your ball, shouted a little girl. The boy released the ball. Clifford trapped it and began to run. He crossed the white line and all the boys began to applaud. Clifford had scored a touchdown. The boys thought that Clifford was a very special dog. I wonder what they would say if they saw him now. That's fun. Look how big Clifford is. All right. Good night, kids. I love you very much. Bye-bye.